Belarus is an intriguing Eastern European country with peculiar facts. Follow me to explore Belarus to discover the wonders of this country. Number 20. Belarusians are highly superstitious. One incredibly interesting aspect is the Belarusian people's inclination towards quirky superstitions. A particularly widespread belief is that you should never whistle indoors because doing so will blow away all your money. They also say that you shouldn't clean your house after guests leave until they return home, as it is believed that tidying up signifies permanently removing them from your life. Additionally, Belarusians hold various irrational superstitions, such as if you see a small spider in Belarus, it means you'll fall ill, and if you spot a magpie, trouble is on the way. The people of this country also fear broken mirrors, considering it a bad omen. What are your thoughts on these superstitions? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments. Number 19. Driving a dirty car in Belarus is fined. A fascinating fact about Belarus is that driving a dirty car is illegal. Anyone caught driving a dirty car can face fines or even points deducted from their driver's license. You may be fined if you drive a car with dirty windows and a dirty license plate. Various sources suggest that the fine could be up to $54. So, if you've ever driven in Belarus, make sure your car's windows and license plate are clean. Number 18. Belarusian women prohibited from marrying foreigners. Belarus is a country known for its abundance of beautiful women, with many possessing model-like proportions. Numerous international beauty pageants have been represented by Belarus, showcasing women with fair skin and attractive figures. In reality Belarusian women maintain the pure lineage and characteristics of ancient Slavic ancestry, with distinct and refined facial features. However, Belarus has a peculiar regulation that prohibits women from traveling abroad, even for tourism. This policy has sparked debates on social media as many find it unconventional in the 21st century. Contrary to perceptions, Belarus has reasons behind this policy. Due to the ample resource of such beauty, many entrepreneurs and companies sought to recruit Belarusian beauties for various modeling competitions, generating substantial profits based on appearances. However, in the long run, the beauty of Belarusian women would be greatly compromised, and some Belarusian experts predict severe gender imbalance if this trend continues. To prevent such a scenario, Belarus had to implement regulations to curb the loss of beautiful women. Number 17, Land of World-Class Athletes and Olympic Champions. Belarus has a strong tradition of training world-class athletes, particularly in individual sports such as athletics, gymnastics, and weightlifting. The country consistently breaks its own records on the Olympic stage, winning numerous medals. Belarusian athletes like Victoria Azarenka in tennis and Daria Domracheva in biathlon have reached the pinnacle of their respective sports, serving as national icons and inspirations for the youth of Belarus. Overall Belarus places a significant emphasis on sports education for young people and provides resources to develop outstanding athletes. Number 16. Potatoes as a Belarusian specialty. Mashed potatoes are a staple in Belarusian cuisine, rarely missing from any meal, with over 300 potato recipes to choose from. Dishes such as taki, a multi-layered potato cake, and kalduni, dumplings filled with minced meat wrapped in mashed potatoes will delight your taste buds. One beloved potato dish is draniki, crispy potato pancakes served with a dollop of sour cream, both delicious and healthy. Number 15. Traditional Drinks of Belarus in addition to interesting potato-based dishes, Belarus boasts unique traditional drinks. Among the alcoholic beverages of Belarus Medavuka and Krambambola are quite popular. Medavuka is one of the first alcoholic drinks to appear in Belarus in ancient times, made by fermenting honey. Throughout history honey-based drinks have been highly esteemed for their taste and health benefits. This drink was used for entertaining guests, as a remedy, or simply enjoyed occasionally in daily life. Medavuka from many years ago holds a sacred quality and is reserved for serving on tables during festivals and religious ceremonies. Krambambula is a traditional Belarusian drink with ancient origins. It reached its peak popularity in the 19th century and experienced a resurgence in the early 21st century. It is also a honey-based drink with a captivating taste. For centuries this distinctive beverage has been a companion to home meals and lavish parties of the wealthy due to its high production cost. Number 14. European Bison, the Forest Buffalo. 
One of Belarus's common symbols is the European bison, with an estimated population of just under 3,000 European bison in the wild, and Belarus being the homeland of nearly one-third of them. This is the heaviest land mammal surviving in Europe. They are tall, notably humped, and have long shaggy fur. Each individual can weigh up to a ton, stand 3 meters tall, and move gracefully. Due to its impressive yet somewhat intimidating appearance it served as a model in the movie, Beauty and the Beast. Descendants of Ice Age ancestors these bison continued to exist with their warm fur and sharp meat-eating resistant horns. Their numbers reach thousands, and in Belarus, around 1500 are present, constituting one-third of Europe's European bison population. They are often seen on various stamps, Belarusian rubles, and other currencies across Europe. Number 13. Belarusians have a habit of using public transportation. The majority of Belarusians use public transportation, including trains, trams, buses, taxis, and even the subway. For short distances of about 3 kilometers, walking is preferred. Consequently, in the capital city of Minsk or other major cities, traffic congestion is rare, and accidents seldom occur. Pedestrians are given top priority in traffic, and underground passages are present on main avenues for safe crossings. Walking amid streets under tree-lined avenues or through forests in Belarus can be quite fascinating. Along the way one may encounter wooden benches for resting or enjoying a smoke. An interesting habit of Belarusians is that they don't eat or smoke while walking, contributing to a cleaner environment, as littering public spaces is uncommon. Environmental consciousness is ingrained in every citizen. Number 12. Unique Belarusian National Library. Ranked 25th among the 50 most unique buildings globally, the Belarusian National Library is renowned worldwide as a colossal diamond. It serves not only as a cultural and information hub for Eastern European countries, but also hosts numerous press conferences of the president and welcomes visits from various heads of state. The uniqueness of the Belarusian National Library lies in its construction, shaped like a diamond. According to architects, this symbolizes the epitome of human intellectual value. With 23 floors, it is divided into two main sections. The first three floors serve as the base of the diamond, featuring a museum, preserving ancient prints, art galleries, conference rooms, and 20 reading rooms of various sizes. However, the most strictly guarded part, inaccessible to everyone, is inside this diamond, storing nearly 9.3 million documents in over 70 languages worldwide. The modern transportation system, with 27 overhead tracks running throughout the entire library, facilitates a rapid and efficient document transfer process capable of serving over 1,000 readers per day. Under the integration of the fully covered LED lighting system, the outside of the structure always provides an intriguing experience for anyone witnessing it at night. Particularly, this library has a feature of continuously changing colors every minute, thanks to LED technology. Do you find this structure interesting? If so, give the video a like and share your thoughts in the comments. The next fact about Belarus will be even more intriguing. Number 11. Belarusian New Year Customs In Belarus, the celebration of Christmas and New Year begins on December 25th and lasts for one to two weeks, with a traditional New Year called Kaliadi, the largest holiday of the year. Before Christmas Eve, Belarusians have a traditional kucha feast with dishes made from barley, avoiding meat and fat during the traditional New Year celebration. In Belarus, Unmarried girls participate in special games to predict who will get married in the coming year. For instance, a pile of corn kernels is placed in front of each girl's stand, and a rooster is released. The rooster running to the pile under a girl's feet first signifies that she is believed to be the first to get married in the new year. In another game, a married woman hides special items around her house for her unmarried friends to find. The girl who discovers a loaf of bread is believed to marry a wealthy man, while the one who finds a ring is expected to marry a handsome husband. Another interesting aspect of the Belarusian Kalietti celebration is that children often go down the streets to get together, wearing handcrafted and cut costumes along with masks. They visit houses, sing festive songs, and wish for health and a bountiful harvest. In return, they receive gifts and drinks. Number 10. Minsk, the capital city was destroyed during World War II. Minsk, often referred to as the Phoenix City, has risen from the ashes multiple times throughout its tumultuous history. The city was nearly obliterated during World War II, but was meticulously reconstructed during the Soviet era. 
Today, Minsk is an intriguing blend of classical Soviet architecture and modern development, reflecting the resilience and determination of the Belarusian people. The post, World War II reconstruction enhanced its grandeur with wide avenues and monumental public buildings designed to showcase the strength and progress of the Soviet state. With friendly residents, a vibrant cultural scene and green spaces, Minsk offers a unique perspective for visitors to witness the history and contemporary life of Belarus. Number 9. Land of Castles and Fortresses While Belarus may not be the first country that comes to mind when thinking about medieval castles and fortresses, it boasts numerous historical architectural structures. Over many centuries, countless defensive constructions were built to protect the population from various invaders. Today, some of these buildings, such as the 16th century Mir Castle and Nezvizh Castle, are recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, attracting history enthusiasts from around the world. Belarusian castles serve as tangible evidence of stories of invading armies and noble families that have shaped the country's rich history. While many of these fortresses have been restored and turned into museums or cultural venues, some remain as majestic ruins, allowing visitors to reflect on bygone eras. Notably, Nesvizh Castle is famous not only for its historical beauty, but also for harboring mysterious tales. The Black Dame of Nish, the spirit of Barbara Radziwill, the wife of Polish King Sigismund Augustus, is said to linger at the castle for over four centuries. Bound by tales of suffering and misfortune, Rumor has it that her ghost is still occasionally seen around the castle and the town of Nish. Do you still dare to visit this castle after hearing about this ghostly legend? If anyone knows more about this ghost, feel free to comment below. Number 8. Rich Traditions of Music and Folk Dance Belarus boasts a rich tradition of folk music and dance, a crucial part of its national identity. Belarusian folk music is characterized by tender melodies and traditional instruments such as the duda, bagpipe, cymbalum, and lyra. Folk songs often depict history, legends, and the daily lives of the country's people. These melodies have been passed down through generations, remaining a cherished part of Belarusian culture. In addition, folk dance is an integral aspect of Belarusian culture, with traditional dances like krasavitsa and lavanica performed during festivals and celebrations. These dances serve not only for entertainment but also contribute to preserving Belarusian heritage and nurturing national pride. The dances often feature vibrant traditional costumes, adding an exciting visual element to the performances. Number 7 Chernobyl Disaster's Impact on Belarus Although the Chernobyl nuclear disaster occurred in Ukraine, it released a significant number of radioactive particles into the Earth's atmosphere, causing pollution in a vast surrounding area, including Belarus. Belarus alone had to bear up to 70% of the radioactive dust from Chernobyl. Furthermore, this disaster had severe repercussions on the lives, economy, science and culture of Belarus. As the country suffered from the devastation of radioactive materials and the loss of cultural and historical values. In the Pisa region in the south of Belarus, the Chernobyl catastrophe also had a profound impact on Belarus's agricultural production due to the harmful effects of radiation. Belarus lost a portion of its total agricultural land, about one quarter of the country's forest area, 132 mineral deposits, and nearly 350 industrial facilities were also exposed to radiation. Two million people had to endure the consequences of the Chernobyl disaster, with over 1.3 million people, including nearly half of them being children and adolescents, still living in the affected areas. The rate of congenital disabilities in newborns in Belarus increased by 250% after 1986. Regarding health, there has been a significant increase in cancer cases, particularly thyroid cancer since the disaster. The rate of thyroid cancer in children increased by 40 times, and in adults it is 2.5 to 7 times higher. The impact of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster is indeed horrifying. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to comment below. Number 6. Belarus, Belaz 75710, the world's largest dump truck. The Belaz 75710 is the world's largest heavy-duty dump truck, originating from Belarus. With colossal dimensions measuring over 20 meters in length, nearly 10 meters in height, and about 8 meters in width, the Belaz 75710 reigns as the king of the world's largest heavy-duty trucks. This monster not only boasts immense size, 
but also possesses impressive power, exceeding 11,000 horsepower, which is six times more than a Formula One racing car, or equivalent to the power of seven Bugatti Chiron supercars combined. The Belaz 75710 holds the record for the highest payload in history with a staggering 450 tons. The truck itself weighs around 360 tons. What makes it interesting is that its wheels are not directly driven by the engine. They are connected to generators that produce electricity for electric motors on the axles. A colossal Belaz 75710 can travel over 400 kilometers fully loaded without refueling. Inside, it has dedicated diesel fuel tanks with a total volume of 5,600 liters, ensuring extended journeys. The cooling system includes a substantial 890 liters of cooling water, and each engine accommodates 269 liters of oil. Number 5. Unique Fire Jumping Festival in Belarus The annual Ivan Kupala Fire Jumping Festival in Belarus takes place on July 24 every year. Couples holding hands leap over bonfires symbolizing enduring love and warding off misfortune. The Ivan Kupala Fire Jumping Festival in Belarus begins with a dance around a large bonfire. Participants typically wear their traditional attire. People dance, sing, and celebrate around the fire during the festival. Girls may release wreaths illuminated by candles onto rivers and attempt to float them as far as possible, hoping for romantic relationships to flow with the currents of the glowing flowers. Men may try to catch these wreaths, aiming to capture the attention of the woman who released them. Number 4. Forget Pancake Day, Belarus has Pancake Week. Pancake Week, known as Maslanitsa, is celebrated in the last week before winter to welcome the onset of spring. Pancakes, known as blini, are displayed in every home for friends and family to enjoy, and are also served during local street festivals. Belarusians are creative with accompanying dishes, including ground poppy seeds and rich mushroom stews to complement the blini. This ancient Slavic festival has deep roots in Belarus, with each day of the week featuring different traditional ceremonies. One day is called Greeting Day, where people bake blini and create a straw effigy of Lady Maslanitsa, representing winter. The first blin is offered to the poor, and the straw effigy is placed on the main street for the entire week. Tuesday is game day for the youth, where locals, especially the younger generation, spend time outdoors playing games like sledding. Wednesday is sweet day, where people treat relatives and friends to blini. Thursday is a day of fun and play. The effigy of Maslanitsa is taken around while enjoying blini and outdoor activities, including sledding, singing and dancing. Friday is mother-in-law's evening, where men express gratitude to their mothers-in-law by making blini for them. Saturday is sister-in-law's day. Finally, Sunday is forgiveness day, considered the most important of Maslanitsa, featuring public festivals and events. Belarusians end this day by burning the traditional straw effigy of Maslanitsa, symbolizing the end of winter and the arrival of spring. Number 3. Belarus is located in Eastern Europe. Belarus was once one of the 15 republics of the Soviet Union for 70 years until it separated and declared independence in 1991. However, the country still maintains close political ties with Russia. Clockwise, it borders Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Russia, and Ukraine. Despite not having a coastline, Belarus attracts visitors with picturesque crossing cornfields, ancient forests, and villages that resemble paintings. The serene landscape combines with modernity in beautiful cities and architectural structures. Minsk, the economic, cultural, and political center of Belarus, is also its capital, featuring numerous national landmarks and being a major tourist destination. The former name of the country, Belarusia, is still used mainly in historical contexts. Some Belarusian citizens find the term Belarusia offensive, as it evokes memories of the past regime. Number 2. About 40% of Belarus's territory is covered by forests. Belarus is often referred to as the lungs of Europe because it is home to one of the last and largest remaining parts of the primeval forest that once covered the European plain. The Belovezhskaya Pushcha forest, even in the capital city Minsk, which is highly urbanized, provides a refreshing green ambiance. The summer temperature in Minsk reaches a maximum of 28 degrees Celsius with mild sunshine, making it an ideal place for people to gather on grassy fields for sunbathing and napping. Beautiful national parks are also found in Belarus, making it an ideal destination for hiking enthusiasts and those who appreciate fresh air. 
An interesting fact is that the green stripe on the Belarusian flag symbolizes the country's forests. Do you like the forests of Belarus? Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Number 1. Belarus's winter is consistently cold. Belarus experiences bitterly cold winters with temperatures always below freezing, reaching a peak of minus 1 degree Celsius during this time. Faced with such cold, how do Belarusians stay warm? First, regarding architecture, houses are built with double-layered walls and in between is a wide, insulating space. The windows are tightly sealed to prevent cold air from entering. Opening a window to hang a piece of meat outside is fine for a whole week, as the outside environment is like a refrigerator. With the sealed-off house design, using firewood for heating is not practical due to air pollution and the need to cut down trees for firewood. Instead, a hot water system runs throughout the building. Hot water flowing through metal pipes releases heat, warming the inside of the house. This hot water also serves as clean water for household bathing needs. This system not only saves fuel but also contributes to environmental protection. So, we've explored 20 fascinating facts about Belarus. Which fact impressed you the most? I personally like the unique fire jumping festival. Remember to comment on your favorite fact. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on our latest videos. See you in the next video.